On the video, inmate Joseph Arkeo appears wobbly on his feet at times. At one point, investigators say he went for medical help. That was just before 10 a.m. on August 28th. Internal records obtained by five on your side investigators described Arkeo as, quote, intoxicated earlier that morning. When he returns to the area near his mat on the floor, video captures Arkeo bending awkwardly at points grabbing his head. Finally, just before 10.30, the video shows Arkeo curled up in a corner. Nearly an hour goes by before another inmate comes over and appears to talk to Arkeo, then walks away. Five minutes later, Officer Martin Devering approaches Arkeo, kicks his mat, then walks away. According to disciplinary records, Devering claims Arkeo mumbled, not interested when the jailer asked him about eating lunch. A few minutes later, another inmate kicks at Arkeo. The 47-year-old appears not to respond. The video shows Arkeo curled up, not appearing to move for another 75 minutes. Then another inmate comes over, taps Arkeo on the arm. Another officer comes and checks on Arkeo, then radios other officers. By now, it's clear something is seriously wrong. One inmate appears to signal Arkeo is dead. We've chosen not to show the rest of the video. Officers, then paramedics, spend nearly 20 minutes working to revive Arkeo, but he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Officer Devering was fired in December after investigators say he failed to conduct required checks of inmates and falsified logbooks the day of the death. Devering faces criminal charges of tampering with records, dereliction of duty, and interfering with Arkeo's civil rights. Jail warden Eric Ivey, who's seen on the video responding to the medical emergency, faces charges of tampering with evidence and falsification after investigators say he told a jailer to turn off his body camera during the incident, then lied about it to investigators.